Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Microsoft Store app in Windows 11, which has received quite a big update design wise and also functionality wise. This is the Microsoft Store August 2024 update. In this video, we're going to talk about it in depth to see how it improves the existing Microsoft Store app. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you need to know is that this update is rolling out for the Microsoft Store to Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels right now but of course it will come later on on other Insider channels and on the main release. What you need to do first is to open up the Microsoft Store if you are enrolled in the Dev or the Canary channels and make sure you go to Library and then click on Get Updates. Of course you can see already that this is different. If you have the previous version you would go to Library and then Get Updates but right now that is changed. When you do that of course you're going to receive all the updates and alongside with all the app updates your Microsoft Store app will be updated as well. First of all, inside library, there are the first changes. So right now, the default filters for this are to show all the products you own, not necessarily the products that you have installed. And you have here in the right side, this drop down and you have sort by date, sort by name and also show installed products only. So I can select that and see all the installed products only. And of course, some of them have updates that will be automatically installed. We also have a search bar here that was added to help us find the name or the publisher of products we are looking for. And also, with this, you can easily find any app or game that you got using your Microsoft account. As you can see, there are a few pretty different animations and also how the apps are delimited. I think that is pretty nice. We also have a new page for updates and downloads. So this page will show the list of active downloads or pending updates, and it also shows the list of recent installs and updates. And as you can see up top, we have updates and downloads. We can click on get updates as we were doing before in the library section. But right now this is a different page altogether. And I think that is pretty nice. And we then can click on update all to update them all. And down below you have the recent updates, which you can see. And um, basically you're gonna know whenever an app was updated or not in the Microsoft store. As you can see, this is pretty interesting. You also have this what's new page, of course, where you can see some of the new improvements in the Microsoft store, which is pretty interesting. Also in the Microsoft store, we're gonna get limited time events, Microsoft is experimenting with a new section of the games page in some regions that will showcase select partners with in-app events and Microsoft partnered with game publishers to highlight real events that will be occurring during the test period. And also Microsoft updated the Microsoft Store badge and this is pretty different, a bit more refined which is pretty interesting and you're going to see that on any website that is linking to the Microsoft Store or is affiliated in any way with the Microsoft Store. So of course these features should roll out to the Canary and Dev channels of the Windows Insider program but that is not necessarily rolling out for everyone there. So pay attention to the new updates and of course wait patiently if this is not rolling out for you instantly. But in my opinion, I think this is pretty nice, the new updated library section with these new small section which is basically every app and also downloads which right now is the page where you can see all the apps when they were installed or updated and of course if you have any updates available for other apps on your Windows 11 operating system. So this is pretty much the new August 2024 update for the Microsoft Store. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Let's zoom out from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.